Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to set up your custom domain that you have just purchased. And so what this looks like is when someone types in www.yourdomain.com, they get redirected to another URL where your website is being hosted. And so to begin this process, you would just go ahead and upload your website to, to your web hosting platform of choice. In this example, I'll be using Netlify. Once you have uploaded your website, you should then have a URL where you can now access your uh, hosted website. And so if I click here, you can now see that this is the URL of my basic website that I made for this tutorial. And if you're using GitHub Pages, for example, as another web hosting platform, if you go under settings of your portfolio of repo, you can see your new URL here inside the screen box. And so once you have done uh, those steps, go ahead and now under the domain uh, management or domain settings, you should see an option for something called either a custom domain or domain alias. So for GitHub pages, it'd be custom domain. And then for Netlify, it's called a domain alias. Go ahead and click add. And here is where you would just type in the domain that you just purchased. So you type in www.yourdomain.com. But for this specific tutorial, I'll just be doing workshop.andytrung.dev and go ahead and click save. I'm just gonna click cancel because I already did this step. And now you should see a little warning here. Go ahead and click on it and to read further instructions on how to set it up. But if you use a www.yourcustomdomain.com, there's gonna be an extra step that you can just follow when you click on the warning error and it'll tell you exactly what to do. But once you have completed all of these steps, go ahead and go to your domain provider and inside your domain provider, look for the DNS settings and then scroll down to you see something called custom resource records. And then for this first box, go ahead and type in what you typed in for your domain alias or custom domain. So if you typed in www.yourdomain.com, make sure to put www here. I'm just gonna do workshop because that's what I did for my uh, example here. But then once you've done that, go ahead and click on CNAME, leave this uh, box as a default value, and then go ahead and copy and paste the URL that was generated for your website, and then go ahead and click on add. And once you've done that, uh, also don't forget to enable your HTTPS. By using Netlify, you can just enable a certificate for free. And then for GitHub pages, there is an option right here that you can just check. So once you have done both those things, you can make sure to just click save and then in 10 to 20 minutes you should see the changes take effect. Uh, so if this video helped you in any way please like the video and don't forget to subscribe.